Hey there guys, so in this video I wanted to show off one of my favorite fan games to ever exist, Super Mario Bros. X on the PS Vita. I'm going to give you a little bit of background very quickly. Super Mario Bros. X was a fan game made I think around the early 2010s, maybe late 2000s, um, that you could create custom levels with and you could submit those custom levels uh, online through forums and you could even, it, it was a really good, it is a really good a Mario fan game, um, but that person stopped making Super Mario Brothers X and went on to develop Terraria. But fans have picked up the game; they've made their own fan edits. Um, people have actually created source ports, and this is one of the source ports that I'm going to show off today. This is the X Tech Vita edition, so you can use the X Tech on uh, other things too. You can use it on your 3DS. You can use it on uh, Windows, Mac OS, Linux, etc. So we're going to go ahead and check it out on the Vita. Now I have to say that this runs really, really well. I actually completed uh, The Invasion 2, not in its entirety, just uh, all the way up to the final boss, and and that's really it. I just finished the game but didn't get any secrets, and was able to play it swimmingly without problems, although with certain characters, uh, if you grab the raccoon suit or, or the ice flower, the graphic won't show up at all. Uh, I'm not sure if that is an issue on my part when setting it up. Uh, it probably and most likely is. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry if I seem to gush a little bit. It's definitely because this game brings back a lot of memories from when I was a child. Um, on the back of the Vita, there's a touchpad, and you can actually use that touchpad to move the uh, cursor around, as you can see. We're going to go ahead and play the Invasion 2. So... I'm gonna go to super easy road right here. So, um, one of the reasons why I really liked this game is because people would make their own episodes and upload them to forms where you could download them. And some people would go as far as to make like custom graphics and just completely take Super Mario Brothers X and make it make it their own thing. Um, so I will actually leave a link to this port in the description. You can change your character by pressing the start button on the overworld map and selecting a character. Uh, Link as an example, I actually, I actually never really became seasoned with Link. He does help with bosses since he does have the sword, um, so that's pretty cool. Um, use your sword to down thrust and get rupees. Um, grab that fire flower. Rather than shooting fire balls, he uh, he shoots the fire um, from his sword. I guess I'm not too sure. <laughs> oh, another thing that Link can do is block projectiles. So that makes fighting the final Bowser really, really easy too, because you can just block his fire. Um. Um, as you can also see, when you play as Link, it changes all of the coins into rupees. You know, when I was a kid, I'm pretty sure that Super Mario Bros. X was forced into a 4x3 aspect ratio. I think the next tech allows you to play in any aspect ratio that you like. Um, and as an example, on the Vita, it's completely full screen. It's actually really beautiful, too, on this OLED display. <laughs> this is probably one of the best ways to play this game on a handheld device. Um, I'm not too sure if there's a switch port, but I'd love to. I'd love to. I'd love to see that if if that were to ever become a thing. We go got our fire flower. I'll play as another character after I beat this level, which I might fast forward through. So yeah, let's go ahead and play as Toad here. So, um, some characters can do that spin jump. Uh, other characters cannot. I don't think yeah, Peach and Link cannot do the spin jump, but Toad, Mario, and Luigi can. Um, I think Luigi and Toad, when you uh, hit a coin block with multiple coins in it, all of the coins will sprout out. Uh, with Mario, Link, and Peach, they come out uh, regularly. Now, another thing to mention is that the next tech will not play all Super Mario Bros. X episodes. <laughs> I don't remember specifically, but I think I remember trying to play, like, 
um, return to Yoshi's Island or or something like that, and it wouldn't uh, it wouldn't play, and if it did, it played improperly, not as I remembered. Probably wasn't even the Yoshi's Island either, but um, you can you can. There are actually Super Mario Brothers X episodes which are only compatible with Next Tech ports, so keep that one in mind too, I guess. Um, let's go ahead and check out Luigi. Um, and I don't think we need to play as Mario. Everyone knows how Mario plays. Um, as you can see, the coins all came out rather than spurts of coins. So, <sighs> I remember every day in school, I would, <laughs> I would like daydream and think of the next world that I was going to create in this game. And being so excited, I think I would literally like draw the levels out too. <laughs> um... This has definitely got to be by far the the best Super Mario Brothers fan game to ever. Yep. And just like that, we have completed that level. All right, so that's pretty much all I wanted to show off with Super Mario Brothers X on the PlayStation Vita. Again, you can play this on your 3DS, your um, your Android phone. I'm pretty sure uh, uh, various Linux distributions, uh, Mac OS, and Windows. With that being said, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I hope you were able to relive some memories as well. Bye.